Are you too old to become an electrical engineer? If you're asking this question, you probably fall into one of three categories. Either you started already and then you quit along the way and now you're in a different career and you're looking to potentially come back in. Or you are tired of your current career or maybe you're down a different career path. Maybe you're an electrician or a plumber and you wanna get into engineering. Or maybe this is something that you've always wanted to do but you've been putting it off. So are you too old to become an electrical engineer? The short answer is it depends. It depends on what your career goals are and how you are able to make this change. The truth is that there are people, and I know some of them, that have started their engineering careers in their 30s, 40s, and even 50s. Here's a story. When I was an undergrad, I was in my early 20s. I had done it right after high school, sort of the traditional path. And one of my classmates, I couldn't really tell he was much older than me because he was he had that good spirit about him, but he was actually an electrician in his uh, former country. He came from Tunisia. He was about 35 years old and I had no idea. There were obviously older people in my class, but his story was interesting to me because I ended up asking him, hey, why are you choosing to do engineering now? And he gave me his reasons. You know, he wanted uh, to build a, a solid career. He wanted to stop using his hands, being away from his family. But that made me realize that, okay, wow, there are people that are much older that are doing this. And then really it became very, very apparent. For instance, when I did my master's, when I did my master's, I'd say more than half the class were in their 30s and 40s and beyond. And that makes sense because now you've already entered the workforce. Maybe your company's coming back to pay for you to increase your knowledge. So you see, it's never really too late to jump into engineering. On another one, one of my really good friends in high school started engineering, electrical, he was doing it with me. However, after the first year, it became apparent that his priorities lay elsewhere and he was partying a little too hard and he ended up really, really flunking out. And then it took him about five or six more years to kind of steer himself back on the path. So by the time he actually got his degree, he was about 30, 32 years old. But guess what now? He's been an electrical engineer for the past decade or so. As you see, it's never really too late. If you clicked on this video, I know that you probably have an analytical mind and you want some sort of magic formula. Here's the best version I can give you. Here in the US, the retirement age is 65 years old. So the question you want to ask yourself is, how long do I need to be an engineer in order to have this pay off, not only financially, but you know, to have that career that you've wanted and to do the line of work that you've always wanted. It takes about 10 years to enter the senior roles, okay? You can take a, a look at a video that I created over here about all of the electrical engineering career levels. It's a long video, but tons of information there. Here's a short version of this idea. It takes about 10 years to enter the senior level lead roles, okay? And then beyond that, it takes about five to 10 more to be in the upper echelons of the principal engineer range. And this is where, of course, your pay more than increases. So in about 10 years, you've more than likely doubled and, and two and a half X your pay. So really, in my mind, if you're gonna do it, you'd wanna be in the career at least 15, 20 years. I think that'd be a minimum because not only then will it pay off, but then you would have felt that you've actually contributed. And so really, here's the equation. If 65 is the retirement age and you want to be productive for about 20 years, so you subtract 65 by 20, it still will take you about one or two years to transition into this career, let's say. Let's give yourself a buffer. Or that might be the time you need to, to land the dream job that you want. So let's add minus two there. And then at the end of the day, you still need to graduate. So let's say it's four to five years. So let's subtract minus five there. And the answer that you get is around 38. Now that has given us some buffer there, but let's say around 40 is the time that you might want to really consider. So if you're about 40 right now, those are some questions to ask. How long do I want to be productive for to maximize not only my earning potential, but just the self-fulfillment of becoming an engineer and you wanting to have that challenge? How long are you going to work for, right? So if you're in your mid forties and you're not in engineering or anything technical right now, those would be some questions to ask. Some of the most successful career transitions that I've seen have been people that have been in blue collar work, right? They were in HVAC or they were electricians and they spent a lot of time using their hands, right? They might've done a lot of field work. Then they come into engineering and become an electrical engineer. Now they've seen a lot of things. They've actually played with wires and cables and they almost have a better understanding than the entry level engineers that I see. It's just that their knowledge compounds. One example that I'm very familiar with is in the power industry, there are relay substations.
installation technicians. And their job is to go and commission, install, and test relays and the protection schemes involved in substation design. They've been doing that for a couple of years, so they've actually seen the relays, installed them, tested them. Then they might want to make a career shift into engineering, where they don't want to be in the field anymore. They want to get on the design side. So before, they were taught how to read the map, the schematics. Now they can take that knowledge and apply it to the front side and actually do engineering designs and make these systems better, right? So that transition of having the hands-on skill, applying it directly into what they're doing now makes them some of the best engineers that you'll have because they have both sides. So that's just a great example. So you see that they didn't really reinvent themselves and restart their careers. They just fully took what they did and directly applied it into engineering. But it doesn't have to be just that. You could have been doing marketing in the past and now it's been a 15 years of your successful career, but maybe you're a little bored and burnt out and you've always wanted to do engineering. Now you're coming into electrical, you want the challenge, you want to dive into an industry that you're very passionate about. So you take your marketing knowledge and you come in and you understand now what gets people's emotions riled up, how people will appreciate the designs that you're doing. There's also a lot of business acumen that you've learned and you can apply that as well. So it's never restarting. You're starting to just overlap your skills in your prior career and life. And really it makes you who you are at the end of the day. So I would say if you're in your mid forties, this is maybe the time to where, okay, this is the make or break point. However, I also know people that never want to retire because they really enjoy what they're doing. And they've now gotten to the point where they have more than enough money and they're just reducing their hours. There are plenty of people that end up becoming consultants later in life. And there are a few people that I know that are in their seventies and even eighties still working. And it's not because they need the money at all. They just want to do something for 20 hours a week that they're really good at and passionate about. So lastly, don't be discouraged by these age ranges that we talked about. I received a comment on that exact question from a gentleman who was in his late 50s just starting his career. If this is something that you wanted to do, then just do it. Life is too short. You don't want to have any regrets. If you do make the career shift into electrical or if you want to come back and finish your career, just go ahead and do it. It's worth it.